The first question I frequently encounter when I complete hearing evaluation is what is the percentage of my hearing loss? I always wonder why people ask this question. Maybe it is based on what they have heard people talking about it or is based on the concept of certificates being issued in for the people with hearing disability for compensations or benefits. Today we will discuss why expressing diagnosis of hearing loss in percentage is always incorrect. Hearing loss involves many factors and that is why it is impossible to put it as a single number in terms of percentage and we will see what they are. Hi, I am Dr. Prabhav Natkar, founder of Quality Hearing Care Mumbai. We have been providing services to people with hearing loss over the last 35 years. When we are testing person's hearing, what we are doing is testing the loudness of a sound perceived by that person at various frequencies, which is called audiometry. This is done by putting patient into a soundproof room and giving the headphones and delivering sounds at a various frequency at increasing level till he hears it good. And this is which is plotted as his hearing threshold. The units of this loudness measurement are decibels and they, it is the logarithmic scales of sound pressure level. This is plotted on an audiometry sheet from 0 to 140 decibel. 0 being the softest level. On audiometry paper, these levels of loudness are on the y-axis, while on the x-axis there are frequencies ranging from 250 to 8000 hertz. Decibel increase exponentially. Every increase in 10 on a decibel scale makes the sound pressure 10 times louder. 0 being a total silence and 10 decibel is 10 times louder than 0 and 20 decibels are 100 times louder and so on. A percentage scale is linear, a statistical term describing a straight line relationship between the two variables. I hope the above explanation must have made it clear that why we cannot express hearing loss as a percentage. So now let's see how we describe hearing loss. The correct form of describing hearing loss is in the term of severity, configuration of a hearing loss and the communication difficulty level. Severity is expressed by averaging thresholds of hearing at speech frequencies that is from 250 to 4000 Hz. 250 to 40 dB being mild, 40 to 55 is moderate, 55 to 70 is moderately severe, 70 to 90 is severe and 90 and above is profound. Next to severity, it is also essential to understand the configuration of the hearing loss. For example, high frequency sloping hearing loss, cookie bite hearing loss, when there is a dip in the mid frequency or a reverse sloping hearing loss, when 250 and 1000 are affected more than the high frequencies. The next important test is word recognition score. It is measured at number of correct responses to words presented at audible level. This gives you an exact idea of your ability to hear spoken language. When all these tests are put together, it helps us to create a management plan to improve the communication ability. Now let's understand. Expressing disability as a percentage calculated based on the thresholds of hearing at speech frequencies and averaging it in both ear independently and applying formula to calculate it as a percentage also does not give correct information. The above calculation gives you an idea of peripheral hearing. 
but interpreting and understanding spoken language also involves how a stimulus received is conducted and processed by central processing system which is missing adding speech audiometry to the test can improve this if you found this video interesting like it and share it share your comments for us to understand what would you like us to discuss in future don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you and take care